Rewilding means reversing the destruction of the natural world and attempting a mass restoration of ecosystems. Why is it that trees are so amazingly resilient that you can smash them, you can twist them and splinter them, but they still come bounding back? And why is it that understory trees like box and holly and yew are so much tougher than the big trees like oak and beech and ash in the forest canopy? I think the same answer applies to, to, to both, and that is elephants. Does that sound crazy? I'm sure it does, but elephants were everywhere. Our ecosystem was dominated by giant straight tusked elephants, and if trees could not resist them, they would be wiped out. And the elephants uh, in Britain, they were driven out by the ice into southern Europe. And they persisted there till about 40,000 years ago. So, so did rhinos and hippos. Lions and hyenas lasted much longer. But they were all eventually wiped out by human hunters. We live in a shadow land, in, in a dim, flattened relic of what there once was. And rewilding offers us this fantastic opportunity to start restoring systems or allowing them to restore themselves. I see it as reintroducing missing plants and animals, then stepping back and letting nature get on with it. One estimate suggests that between 2000 and 2030, around 30 million hectares of land will be vacated by farmers. And that's an area the size of Poland. So maybe we're being a bit unambitious if we're talking about just wolves and lynx and bison and boar and beavers, which are already spreading fast across Europe. Perhaps we should also be thinking about bringing back some of the lost megafauna. It seems to me that rewilding offers us more than just the restoration of the ecosystem. It brings back into our lives a lot of thrill and wonder and enchantment. And wouldn't it be amazing if everybody had a Serengeti on their doorstep? Rewilding the ecosystem offers us a chance to rewild our own lives as well.